please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Go. Good morning, Chargers, and welcome to your November 21st video announcements. I'm Kevin Randall. Greetings from the other side of the screen, Chargers. I'm your co-host, Jack the T-Poser. Extra, extra, read all about it. What are you? Journalism class goes to Chicago. Why? Here's a segment from Emily all about it. Okay. Over the years, I've taken a lot of different groups to these national journalism conventions. The purpose of the journalism convention is to give the students a real-life opportunity to work with journalists, to learn from journalists and professionals in the field, and to give them the chance to compete at a national level. It's really important that they have these opportunities to travel to different locations, but also to work with journalists from around the country. There were over 6,000 people at this convention, and it was a really cool opportunity. The Guide On Club went to Chicago for a national journalism convention. We also did one two years ago in Seattle, but this time we went to the East Coast one. So it was really cool. It was a lot bigger than the one that we've been to in the past. Um, the convention means that we get to take a lot of classes relating to journalism. I took some really cool ones called Strengthening Your Journalistic Foundation. I got to talk with a person who works in journalistic law for an hour, um, and then um, I also took some leadership courses about being an editor. Also at the convention, I competed in feature writing, so I wrote a spotlight about a person, which was really cool. I really liked doing that. And then outside of going to the sessions, uh, the whole group and I went to explore Chicago. We went to um, Millennial Park and the Navy Pier, and then to Chinatown, which was really cool. I liked that. Congratulations to Abby Carlin for placing superior in commentary writing. Visit the guide on at mhscharger.com to learn current McClintock news. So anyways, uh, so anyways, uh, uh, so anyways, uh, so anyway, so anyway, Chargers, let's check out this segment on the tough cars of McClintock made by Aiden. What's up guys, Aiden Lohan here in the McClintock student parking lot looking for the most savage cars. Now, there's so many options, but today we're here with Wyatt Liggett and his 350Z. What's up Chargers? How long have you owned this car? Um, so I've had this, let's see, I got about a month into school, so I've had it a month and a half. Does it get you girls? Of course. Okay. So what modifications have you made to this vehicle? Well, uh, I got my Dutch Dad sticker. Uh, adds 10 horsepower, gets me free Dutch. Um, I have a Society windshield banner on the back. So I actually joined uh, a car community for Z's. Well, that concludes this segment. Uh, thank you so much, Wyatt, for yeah, being here. Thank you for having me, guys. Thank you so much to our bike guy, and uh, I hope you have a good day, Chargers. Oh my gosh, Mr. Barkdahl is one of the coolest science teachers ever. Right? I mean, like, his class last year was, like, the best. Yeah. Let's check out this teacher spotlight on Mr. Barkdahl, made by Seth. Welcome to Teacher Talk. My name is Seth Garcia, and here we have McClintock's most esteemed math and science teacher, Mr. Barkdahl. So, to start things off, um, how long have you been teaching here? Um, I've been teaching here 26 years. This is my 27th year. 27, all right. After all of your years of teaching, um, what advice would you give to new or future teachers? Um, you gotta get here early. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you divide a teacher's day by how much time they were actually in the class, um, there's a large portion of the day where you're not in the classroom, you're preparing for the classroom. And uh, sort of to that same token, if your students were to leave the classroom at the end of the year knowing one thing, um, the, what knowledge do you want them to have uh, as they leave? Um, it wouldn't be math or science knowledge, it would be kind of a lifestyle idea of you can get wherever you want to get with hard work. Now that, that hard work might be harder work than you think it would be, but with enough hard work you can get anywhere you want to be. 
You know, Kevin, we may disagree sometimes, but I'm thankful to get to work with you. You know, Jack, I'm thankful to work with me too. Let's check out this segment on thankfulness made by Emma. So what are you thankful for? Well, I'm thankful for my like family and that we have like a really good relationship between each other and my friends that are always there for me when I need them the most and my dog. He's so he's so cute. And yeah, that's all. Um, I'm thankful for my family and uh, all my friends and uh, you know who you are. Um, I'm thankful for all the food I get, even if it's junk food. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving, guys. So what are you thankful for? Um, well, obviously I'm thankful for my family and friends, um, education. Um, but yeah, but I'm going to talk about what I'm not thankful for. Um, plastic, uh, rust, um, global warming, sea world, killing the bees, and dehydration. So. Oh, okay. Well, that's all we have for you today, Chargers. Make sure to pick up your trash at lunch and wear your IDs at all times. And your quote of the day is, Roo -doo 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 -doo, Andrew Bernard. Have, have a great day. rest that's of the, the week, Chargers. Chargers. Okay, that's it. That's a wrap. Yeah.